Hi everyone and welcome to a warm and beautiful afternoon in Brisbane uh, where the Lionesses are now based ahead of their opening Group D World Cup match with Haiti uh, that takes place on Saturday so only a few days away now from England getting underway at the Women's World Cup. Uh, a few of us earlier headed down to the, the England team hotel where Lucy Bronze was giving a press conference um, and obviously the, the big talking point of the day was the ongoing issue over player bonuses that the England team have now decided to park for, for the time being and sort of leave while the, the, the tournament is ongoing. Um, and although obviously it's not ideal preparation for the Lionesses for this to come out on the eve of the, the, their first game at the tournament, um, I think anyone who was there this morning would have been le left with no doubt um, that, that the players do seem to have, have, have left this issue now and that, that they say it's not going to affect the football. Lucy Bronze in particular spoke with, with real authority on the issue and said that you know this that the intensity has been upped in training and if you, if you saw training day in day out there's, there's no way that uh, any of these players are going to let their football be affected by, by that issue. Um, there's also obviously the, the interesting point of what Serena Wiegmann's team selection is going to be on Saturday um, because although many fans may look at this game and think England could, could beat Haiti with any combination of players from the, the 23 player squad selected by Serena Wiegmann, um, let's not forget that at the Euros last summer it was, a, it was an unchanged starting eleven that took England all the way to the final and eventually to, to winning the tournament. Um, yes, impact players like Alessia Russo, Ella Toon, uh, Chloe Kelly were used throughout the, on, a, on a regular basis and, and they're all likely to be starters this time around. Um, but it was still an unchanged starting eleven, and we know that Serena Wiegmann doesn't like to chop and change too much. So I think that the, the eleven that are selected on Saturday against Haiti that could be that could be really important going forward. And and, and who knows, maybe once again it'll be a similar situation uh, this time around. Um, the players also spoke about how warmly they've been received in in, in Brisbane since moving here from their their pre-tournament base uh, base camp at the Sunshine Coast. Um, and, and they've been able to sort of get, get used to city life again. I even earlier on my way to the hotel spotted Millie Bright just out and about for a stroll um, around the city. And it's obviously great that the, the players are able to do that and have that freedom. And hopefully it'll be a, a relaxed camp ahead of their, their opening game on Saturday. Um, there's also the ongoing uh, part question about you know how how much hype is there around this World Cup on the ground? But I can tell you from from being here just a few days that there's plenty of billboards. There's there's lots of billboards. There's lots of advertising. You can barely walk down the street without seeing Sam Kerr's face pop out at some point. So that this is a, a country that is really making the most of their status as co-hosts. And uh, I think there's a real buzz across the city ahead of the first game here, which, like I say, is on Saturday. England versus Haiti um, and hopefully for the Lionesses they can start their tournament in a positive fashion. Um, that's all for now but more to come over the coming days as we look forward to that opening World Cup game uh, for the Lionesses against Haiti on Saturday.